I'd like to introduce you to my family because it's really them who've helped me see the value the external workforce brings to an organisation and the important role that Fieldcast plays in supporting those programmes. In October last year, we welcomed Iva to our family. Since then, we've seen what really matters when responding to the increased demand on us and our time. We've seen that we need to adapt quickly and be flexible, that we need to manage everyday risks and that we need to be aware of costs. These areas are equally important to organisations too. When faced with more demand or challenges, they will also need to consider how to be flexible, how to avoid risk and how to keep costs under control. This is why a lot of organisations look to external workforce to help them with the increased demand they're seeing, whether that be to support innovation, support the day-to-day -day running of the business or any other number of reasons. In fact, a study showed that out of the total spend on the workforce, 42% of it was typically for external. And this is where the analogy comes in. We too have relied on external workers, but I prefer to call them family and friends. And you'll see two of them here, my mum and my dad. And this also helps with categorising these workers too, because my dad will come over and he'll help me with a specific task that I've asked him to help with. It could be building some furniture, a shed, decorating a room, but typically we'll agree on what I need his help with. He'll come over, he'll do it, and then he'll leave. In external workforce terms, he's a service provider. And usually, instead of a WhatsApp conversation, the scope of the service he's going to provide is defined in a statement of work. But we aren't that formal in our house yet. The second category of external labour is contingent. And this fits really well into what my mum does. My mum will come over to our house and ask us what we need her to do. She'll then pretty much do anything we ask her to, but it will be us who's defining what tasks she'll do around the house, as if she was part of the household itself. Contingent workers are those temporary workers who come in as part of your team and then the managers decide their activities the same as they would as if they were a permanent member of staff. The difference being that your temporary workforce will only be there for a set period of time. So let's take our first look at the field glass system because sometimes it can be confusing for a hiring manager to know which type of worker they need. And this is where field glass gives guidance to direct us to the right process for a few questions. So here I'm kicking off this process and based on the configuration of my system, I've set a simple form up to get me to the right place. Here it's asking me what category it is I'm looking for. Next comes an important question, who will be managing their work? Is it the manager or will the supplier be responsible for this worker based on a set scope? Well, in this case, I'm the hiring manager and I'm gonna be responsible for the work. And finally, it's gonna ask us how long we need them for. Now that I've completed this form, it tells me that a requisition is the best process to trigger this contingent labor request. And then Field Glass takes me straight there and provides me with templates, but we'll pause here before we go into the rest of the process. So coming back to our analogy, even within our family, we're talking about more than just one contingent work and even more than the ones we just see here. But let's put it back to a, an organization example. In organisations, there are contingent workers that may fit as part of any team. When we look to hire contingent workers though, whether that be for an organisation or as I say, as a family context, there's going to be five main questions we're going to need to ask ourselves. And these will be the same things that I would ask anytime someone was going to look after either. Who is it? Do they have the relevant experience? What are they going to be doing? Where will they be going? When will they be leaving and when will they be coming back? And how much is it going to cost me? Simple questions, but many of our customers before Field Glass would struggle to answer them. One of them even telling us that they would struggle to provide a list of all the temporary workers that sat within their organisation at a given point. Another finding out that there was an R&D team that they knew nothing about, and that team consisted of about 500 people. So if you're interested in seeing how Field Glass can handle these contingent labour requests, jump to the next video and take a look at the demonstration.